Hello everyone, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. Been a while, hasn't it? Well, uh, as promised, I have come back to a uh, scene before. As you can see, we've got a radiation storm brewing around it, so we're not going to stand out here for much longer. And uh, I've changed Piper's wardrobe up a little bit, her being the Grognock the Barbarian fan that she is. I gave her the armor. Uh, she's got some other armor supplementing it, but you can't really uh, tell that to look at her. It's using the Grognak suit as a base, and she's got uh, combat greaves and everything on her. But uh, I decided to come back to this little nexus point, because as I noted before, we've got the hospital here, we've got a uh, train station there, we've got a super mutant filled department store there, which. Uh, Spoilers, it's really dangerous to go in there. So what we're actually going to look at this time is uh, this location, which you'll see we've got a bunch of arrows pointing inward, which uh, this location is not on the map. And you see a bunch of arrows, you're like me, and it's a dark building. This is just screaming, you know, invitation and trap. But uh, there are a lot of things... There are a lot of things in Fallout 4 that are hidden and not necessarily on the map. Little oddities, jokes, hidden things, and okay, apparently the radiation can get me in here. But uh, what we are looking at in here, and around the corner, and yeah, severed head, bottle of wine, candles, eeriness. Uh, this whole little room, it turns out, I look this up online, is a tribute to the movie Saw. So, in other words, we're going to find a bunch of booby traps, a bunch of weirdness, and a bunch of just generally bad stuff. So we're going to be very careful going into any rooms, because there's a lot of booby traps, trip wires, or anything else. And a couple of monsters, like for instance here, you can just make out a rad roach. Which did not react to my shot at all. I think I am somehow shooting the beam there. And Piper, get out of my way. Okay, we'll try a precise shot this time. This is one of gonna be one of those more annoying game glitches, isn't it? Well, you know what? Thankfully there are other ways to deal with this sort of thing. And my preferred method of dealing with this sort of thing involves grenades which I happen to have quite a few of at the moment. So... Well, that set something off, but, uh... And since a lot of roaches scurrying... And a legendary one is coming which the critical did nothing toward. Okay, maybe it did do something. I can carry something if you need it. Huh, cap stash. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> yeah, I think I must have set off every trap in the place with that one. Yeah, I found a death claw hand to boot. So yeah, lots of traps here, but uh, lots of treasure as well. And aha, almost set that one off. But uh, yeah, crazy part is it's easier to spot the wires with the lights out than on. But uh, yeah, got a question mark there. So yeah, clearly Edward Nigma survived the apocalypse. This looks nice and eerie with the lights off, but we've got a pit boy for a reason. And Blue, something's not right here. You think? 
And I'll tell you what, you wait here for a moment. Psst. Just let me know. Here. Can do. Okay, because I got that thing about. Over here. Okay, yeah, don't follow me in here, uh, Piper. I think I just wound up grabbing a ton of rat away at the end. Because, uh, of course, I did. Yeah, I did get a couple of rat away and rat X in there. For all the good it does you at the end of it, but uh, luckily I came prepared. You aren't still in. <sighs> Here we go again. Oh, wait, nope, nope. Yeah, but she's alright. She's tough. Anyway, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see, that'd be one. And yeah, that'd be three. And, uh,. I'm not going to press the rest of those, for obvious reasons. Mm, someone's not interested in visitors. Yeah, clearly. Let's see, stop. Hey, here's a tripwire. Yeah, more heads and a mannequin, one way. Mumble a little there, Piper. Okay, got a door. I'm a little bit trapped. Somebody has a twisted sense of humor, but they also left us the present of some illicit drugs. And the crap that we pulled off of uh, the turret. So yeah, a lot of risk in here, but a little bit of reward to go with it. And yeah, that's just creepy. Thankfully... I think these monkeys are actually dangerous, but uh, they is creepy. Yeah. And hello, number tripwire. And a whole bunch of bathroom scales. Which are all explosive weighted devices. And it looks like the way upstairs is here. Heck, I'm a level just from picking these babies up. Let's see, but there was a hallway we left behind us, and we really do not want to leave anything behind us in here. One there, uh, yeah, there was a pathway here. Oh, no, wait, 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 yeah, there was not a way there. And okay, yeah, it looks like there's uh, some of the old grenade bouquets. I haven't seen those in this game yet. That's well, an old standby from Fallout 4. Fallout 3, rather. We're getting a handy bunch of grenades every time we disable one of these. I think 
believe that was the last of them. And a trip wire. Yet another trip wire. You know, notice I'm quick saving a fair bit here because, uh, well, can you blame me for being paranoid right now? Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. Yeah, there was a missile launcher, which somehow we didn't trigger. I'm guessing that was the uh, one of the trip wires from there. Outside first. I'm sure that inside is the way we're supposed to go. There's arrows and stuff pointing at the obvious ways. And yeah, looks like we looped back around to where we were. Dead end. But. Stim packing some water, so not completely uh, pointless sojourn. And nothing to stop us from backtracking the way we came originally. And yeah, seems to be heading back uh, down the alleyway from before. And yeah, blood, blood streaks on the ground, that's a great sign. are in order at the moment. They do have... Let's see. Yeah, I got grenades selected. Roxanne! When do you get so quiet? Don't have to put on the red light! Yeah, being quiet is never a good sign. more blood streaks than there were before, which makes me wonder. Yeah, what the heck, I got 15 grenades and, hey! Zombies! Okay, 
uh, better inject the healing juice stat. Uh, glowing ones. They're they're bad enough, but in close quarters, we have a whole over horde of zombies. Uh, that's just ugh. whoever set this up did not want to play fair. Well, not any of these guys have really play fair, but. I guess there's the one the grenade got. Our chassis and uh, Piper still there. Piper. Stay close. Because heck knows we don't want to get separated in here. There's any more of those things crawling around. Okay, yeah, here's where that uh, original bin came from. Okay, so back around this way. Never dead end. Okay, yeah, these ghouls have their necks stretched out for some reason. And that's even more insulting than the regular type somehow. Which makes me wonder, is whoever is running this place mutating the ghouls or torturing them somehow or what? But, uh... That's it's pretty creepy any way you stretch it. No pun intended. Oh, okay, fine, pun intended. And hey, more trip wires and scales. I think I am about to level. Tesla trap. And hey. Let's see, perk. A ton of copper and steel and other stuff from dissecting all this. Yeah, this is actually a uh, gets us back up to the top of the roof of that place, it looks like, and. I believe we are up on the roof of uh yeah, up on the roof of the department store. get more of a grenade and a sneak attack than with just a grenade by itself. Uh, looks like you didn't have anything here except for the gear, though. 
Firefight somewhere close by, but uh, we're not going to get involved and we're not going to duck into here just yet because I think we've got a little bit more to look at over in the, uh, the saw place. Firefight is still going on. And ah, uh, three, two, one. Well, given what I know of the building layout, two's probably the safe bet because there's a lot more room over there. Three and one are probably traps, but uh, if you're not standing right in front of the doorway, a trap doesn't mean much. See the little bear shotgun there. Scattered laser rifle. That's one I have not encountered before. And uh, Piper might be a good idea to not stand right there. Actually. Okay, that hey, firefight is still over there. Of course. Going on pretty close. So okay, Piper, you go ahead and stand there. I will. Tesla trap. I remember setting one of those up at my uh, at Sanctuary. Nice and impressive, but it uh, doesn't last very long. And then... Well, mannequin fell forward, but uh, otherwise nothing seems to be there. And... Uh, Oh, there you are. Okay. Hey. What you got for me? Okay, just keep following me, Piper. And looks like there's some raider who, uh, let's see, combat knife, adjustable wrench. I think he tried cutting his own leg off to get out of here. In case the uh, reference, you know, I said the saw house earlier, but in case the reference wasn't obvious enough. Okay, well, looks like we've got uh, two choices on rooms here. Got one with a lot of treasure there, and one with a lot of treasure there. This one looks like it has a bunch of drugs. The other one appears to have some uh, equipment and yeah, some weaponry. Uh, Lady and Tiger situation. Well, you know what? Let's just save it first to see what we get. And then uh, make the better choice. So go with this one. And yeah, that one got blown up, so let's see. We've got Buff Out, Buff Out, Psycho. More Buff Out, Mentax, Psycho. Jet, Mentax, Medex. Bottle cap, 308, powerful, uh, night vision, and okay. Not a bad bit of loot, but, uh, you know, a lot of drugs could be helpful, but let us try the other one, just for the heck of it. If you start a fight you can't finish, try putting away your weapon. There's a slight chance your opponent might forgive you. Might. And, oh, wait, this is the, uh, <laughs> That one uh, automatically saved here. Okay, let's try that one. Uh, if there's a skull displayed next to an enemy's name, it means there are several levels higher than you and may be difficult to defeat in combat. In such cases, running away and returning when you're stronger might be the wisest course of action. Okay, so we check the other cell. 
and that one gets blown up. So here we've got a mini nuke, a combat armor helmet, a whole bunch of fusion cores. Well, that'll be helpful. And ball cap, 45 round, pocketed reinforced combat armor chest, and a pipe revolver pistol. You know, I'm happy going with the, uh, the fusion core. And dead end with a uh, severed body on there. Where is everyone? And a whole lot of severed body parts. And so we've got one more hallway down here. Looks like this leads us up to the roof, just in time for a new day to be dawning. And hey, didn't know there were a bunch of uh, villages you know, over there, and oh, it looks like there is also a uh, side door to the hospital, but. Of course, that's boarded up. But, uh, yeah. We just conquered the saw house, everyone. Places. Something. All right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You say the word. You well, know, since we had a talk with Piper, why don't we uh, see if she's anything new to say? Piper. You really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? Look who's talking. It finds me, really. It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. <laughs> Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Well, I think that sounds pretty exciting. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Get in trouble, it's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I think she's trying to flirt with me, and uh, I've got no problem with that. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's that's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? Well, I think we're getting some uh, character development there, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and close this chapter out. And next time, I'm going to go investigating something that uh, one of my friends in real life suggested I should take a look at uh, in the game before we get back to the main storyline. And uh, we'll see you then.